Uh, hello. Uh, I'm going to talk about an app, uh, an Android app uh, called Universal App. And uh, what it allows you to do is uh, allows you to um, create your own applications without any programming by using Google Spreadsheets. Uh, so um, for this demo, I'm using a um, uh, an emulator. Uh, of course, that will work on a real uh, device, but uh, for the so uh, for this demo, in order to see both the app and the spreadsheets, I'm uh, using this emulator. Uh, so the app comes uh, pre-configured uh, pre with one sample application, um, and I'm going to go and then uh, so I'm going to go over that uh, sample application to see what it can do, and then I'm going to show you how you can create your own uh, app. So the structure of this uh, uh, spreadsheets that uh, this app is based on is uh, the following. Uh, it has three tabs. Uh, the first tab is App Info, which contains uh, general information about the app, like uh, the name, uh, some image, which can be seen when you add uh, when you add uh, this app to your um, to a universal app. Um, and um, so basically, this first tab identifies the, the application, right? Uh, the second tab of the spreadsheet defines the tabs inside the app. So um, it, in particular, this one has three tabs, Home, Help, and Contact, which are shown here. Uh, now, you can add and remove them. You don't have, you know, it's up to you. Uh, but uh, current, uh, this particular app has, has three tabs. Uh, the last uh, tab defines the buttons, so we have uh, four buttons here and um, five buttons, and they're represented here. So you can manipulate, you can change the buttons, uh, and also once you press a button, you are, you're, you're sent to another screen, and this column here identifies, uh, describes basically what you want to see on the second screen. So this is a, a very high-level view of this sample app. Uh, next, let's see how we're going to actually create our own. So to, to create your own app, you, uh, you would uh, make a copy of it to your own drive so you can modify it. So you simply go over here and you make a copy and you give it some kind of name like uh, my, my app, for example, and you save it. Um, so what we're doing here is we're taking the sample app and we are saving it, uh, we're saving a copy to your own drive, so you can start manipulating it. So let's change a couple of things first. Uh, let's say instead of sample app, we're gonna call it my first app. Uh, we change the author to somebody else. John Doe, for example. <laughs> um, and we might wanna change the image that identifies this app, like for example, we can Remove that one, and uh, let's see, I have an image here of a scooter. So I'm just going to copy the image address, and I'm going to paste it here. Right, it's already done. So, so far we've done is we have taken the sample app, we made a copy of it, made some small, small modification, and next we're going to actually um, add it to our uh, uh, universal app. So to do that, we need to publish this app. So we go over here. We uh, we publish the web, publish, say OK to that, and copy the URL. And we go over here, and we would create a new app right here. And we're going to paste it in there so we can have the new app. Go here it is, and it found the app and took the information that we entered, like the the, the image and uh, the name and, and so on. So it it uh, it found it, and, and now we have an option to add it, right? So here it is. We added it. Now you can add as many of these as you want, um, and, and so on. Um, so let's just select it, and when we select it, we basically see uh, the app is identical to the original sample app. So 
next thing to do is we're going to try to modify it a little bit and uh, you know uh, change it to our own requirement right so to do that now um, okay close that so now we um, to in order to change that we uh, free, we go to the taps uh, okay, to the taps uh, tab <laughs> um, and let's say we don't want this, uh, this this help help tab here so we can just basically you know delete it let's say let's say we want to we want to delete the row it's gone and then we can refresh and there now uh, this, this tab is gone um, and so on so you can manipulate that uh, you can change you know you can add more tabs or whatever uh, next we going to look at the buttons right so uh, here we have the same buttons as the original app uh, now let's say we don't want this uh, this custom style button uh, that button by the way uh, we can define our own style um, like CSS style to make it look the way we want and also to position anywhere uh, so we can we can do that but we don't need it in the moment let's say we don't need that button so we're just going to select this and again we're going to to delete the row and uh, refresh and that should be gone uh, now let's say we want to change the image here so that will be the image uh, of this um, uh, no sorry that's in the tab we won't change the image now we'll change it later um, but let's say we want to add another another button so let's say we have uh, we want to create a button that will take us to a new page so we just call this new page and here we can just enter some HTML text this is a new page and since it is since it is HTML we can give it some HTML tags like we can bold it for example uh, any kind of HTML tags uh, we we like to use here it's fine um, so here we create this and then maybe let's uh, let's give some style to the button let's make it round and let's make it um, I don't know make it uh, say a uh, make it dark for example dark and uh, we want to make it small for example right so we're done with that so let's see what happens now we're going to refresh again and we see this uh, this new button and when we press it uh, it takes us to this page that we just entered uh, uh, some HTML now we may want to add an image here or uh, or a YouTube video and so on so let's say we want to add an image so we go here to the image uh, section and we want to put that image here here we're going to paste that there we go and uh, go back and refresh the page and we select it again and we should have the image there you go so uh, so you can keep changing it the way you want right so um, when you're happy with it you know you, you just um, uh, refresh it and you see what you see what happens so you can remove these buttons you can add more buttons you can position them um, anywhere using um, um, styling uh, extending information and so on now um, this uh, what we did here is we just added some some simple text but it doesn't have to be a static text it can be um, it can be dynamic because we can use Google's uh, sheets uh, functionality to dynamically change that text for example we have this um, uh, this screen here my stocks which contains a couple of stocks uh, now these are defined over here they're not notice they're not uh, uh, they're not fixed they're based on a formula so this Google function will actually go and fetch the current price of that stock and will uh, update uh, with that price in the in the cell so this changes as um, as the price changes that will continuously update the new price so this is real-time real-time um, uh, you know real-time code it's not static it's not something like um, that we just entered so that can be uh, upda updated uh, um, by like, by the Google Sheets any kind of uh, formula you can use here or you can use data from another sheet or uh, it can be a calculated data and so on um, another thing you can do here is uh, let's say we want to change the image again so again we can maybe we want to change the image of that tab we come over here and oh that's the image now but
but let's say we want to change it so uh, we edit it and let's say we want to put this photo in here we come back here and we paste it and we refresh and we have new image now going back to the buttons uh, another thing we can do is uh, uh, say for example you want to put some audio uh, like internet radio right so this page here uh, displays three controls that we can actually play you can press it and we'll play it you can see it's playing and the way that is done is we've uh, basically embedded um, audio control into the you know HTML uh, and so it fetches uh, audio stream from this from this URL and you can put the more information you can put a picture if you want but we just keep it simple um, yet another thing you can do is uh, you can have an RSS feed inside your uh, your app like if you press on that page what happens is it uh, it gets the latest uh, Rolling Stones from a, from an RSS feed and the way that is done is um, it it picks up the information from this URL but that keeps updating uh, uh, so we don't want that to be static we want it to update ev uh, every every hour so we can get new information so that is done actually through through a, through, a, through a Google script which um, goes every hour and updates that cell so that our information is always up to date so this is just some of the things you can do with this app um, um, so you can go back here you can know you can you can add more apps uh, you can delete and so on um, you know if you just double click on that and then select this app you're going back to your I'm oh, sorry and you have to do that I just want to select that and you're going back to the original app right so you, you can go back here and then for example you want to delete this app just um, long press on this on any of the um, of these apps and then you can you can delete it and there it is and it's gone so this is how you can add and, and, and delete apps uh, so that's it thank you for um, for um, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for for watching it bye